Does anybody actually understand the rap in the middle there? I mean, most no. of you guys don't speak English to begin with. No, no one does. Okay. You just nod and hope for the best. Okay. I mean, there's not that much information he's giving anyway that you need to know about, fight. but still it's... Three wow. rounds of action. Wow. It is Gregorian in the black with white stripe. <laughs> Beta, the white with black stripe. Michael Chavello, friend trick with you. Gregorian comes in the favorite minus 325. Beta at plus 265. Beta, a record of 31, 8 and 3, oh, 7 knockouts. Gregorian, oh, 31, 4 and 1 with 17 knockouts. Hey, come on! Keep an eye on Marat Gregorian. Simon Rooks, the chief of It's Showtime, has mooted hey, Gregorian as their next big star. Fight. He's beaten the likes of Mohamed Kamal, losses to the likes of Johan Lidon in Lyon. Trained by Daniela Summers. Beita, who's taken on the likes of Robin van Rusmalen and Karim Geijer. I expect a slow start to this one. Yeah, I've already been yelled at twice by the ref to get the pace a little bit. Compared to the other fights so far tonight, this is a slower pace start. They've took high knee from Gregorian. Nice jab off the ropes from him. Both men a little flat footed here in the opening round. Beautiful dipping liver shot from Beta. Just no power here from Beta at the moment. It's almost like a glorified sparring session. He is switching between southpaw and orthodox stance is Yassin Beta. Nice right hand from Gregorian, then goes to the body. Beta just ties up the arms and the referee pulls break. Same problem that his brother has. When he gets inside there, he gets close, he immediately grabs the head and goes for the knee, and that allows Beitar to get out of there. He's in a great position, had him tied up, could have went to the body a couple times, kicked him once or twice low, and then came back up to the head and put him down. But I don't know why that is with the Gregorian brothers, particularly given that their coach is a former boxing champion. Nice left hand from Gregorian, and Beitar doing a quick count of his teeth. Turning right from Gregorian. Beitar off to a very slow start here. Up the gut was nice. That's the first power shot we see him actually hit and land. He's, um, he really does come out as a slow starter, but not this slow. And he's really not, like you said earlier, it's, he's, it's a glorified sparring session, not really doing anything. Until now. Now he's going to step it up a little bit, but he's got to hurry up, pick up this pace, and get some more power shots in if he wants to win this round. Gregorian left hook, up the gut, missed the target, almost took out the ring lights. Left hook came nowhere near it. Front kick to the midsection from Beta. Another front kick off the back leg, make it you trip look at there from Yasin Beta. And he puts the jab on the schnoggen. The quite sizable proboscis of Marat Gregorian. <laughs> High right round kick, Gregorian quarter on the forearm. Into the first round. What a barn burner by any stretch of the imagination. If we are going to tilt it though, we will do so in favor of Marat Gregorian. Daniela Summer in the corner there of Gregorian. Tough pace in, inside, really puts Beitan on this hump, and then right here, he jumps up top and goes to the knee, and that allows everything to stop and come back inside. There's no reason for him to go this deep inside and try to tie up. Now, Gregorian does throw a lot of punches off the ropes. He is in a better position. That's why I like to see him do more of it. He hasn't been doing it. He's really, really it's the best way to keep Beitar off his feet and keep him really unbalanced. Daniela Summers, the trainer there of Marat Gregorian, her own record in boxing, 12 and 3. A 26% KO ratio as we see Arta Koshenko backstage with Coach Mike Hassanir and please. Melvin Manoff preparing for his semi final hey, against Andy Sauer. Hey, Daniela Summers, fight. her last we fight back in 2000. She won her last fight, one last three in a row, of course. Wow. Last fight was against Brenda Drexel in Belgium, in Antwerp. Second round. High right round from Beta. Gregorian with the outside leg kick. We haven't seen a lot of kicking thus far. It's been mostly a boxing contest. Beta springboards off the ropes. Nicely done. Good position to use his pressure. Lean back up his ropes and using like a rubber band to throw him out. But unfortunately, he didn't stay off the ropes. He's back on him again. And this is one of the things that 
but he's going to make the judges think that he's losing his fight because he, he spends most of his time on his back against the ropes, having defensively punch out. This is what you get when you get two men who like to fight on the inside, as Bates and Gregorian do. They're not big at range fighters. High right round, still no power for Beta, and yes, takes one yep. south of the border. Come on, that doesn't work. Come on, come fight! Beta will be yeah. hurting for the Belgian boys choir after that one. Just like that, the ref just grabs you, throws you a couple of times, <laughs> back out of go. That's how they roll in Europe. Inside thigh kick hey. from Beta. Oh, look out, eh? There's the dream offset, eh? What's up? Come on. Fight. Again, no real starch behind these shots from Yasin Beta. Gregorian threading that left hook nicely. Jumping knee. What's up? Another ball, eh? Fight. Free caution not to use an elbow. These are not full tie rules. It is often been to the. You see a good exchange against the ropes here from Beta. Probably to the detriment of kickboxing right. over the years and its expansion, the various rule types and rule sets that are in place. So many of them, and there's so many various sanctioning bodies, it has become quite confusing, which is really where K1 was a godsend for kickboxing when it. Came to be in 1993, unifying so many various style of martial arts under one set of stand-up rules. Of course, when you have full tie, modified tie, orange rules, international rules, full contact rules, and the little, you know, little variances between them, it does get very confusing for the for the layman, for the common fan. Could be one of the reasons, certainly in the. North American region, why kickboxing hasn't reached the heights that many expected it may have, even though the action is so great. And second round. Just the confusion surrounding the various rule sets and who indeed is the champion of what. Two rounds down and one remaining. Marat Gregorian seems to be in control. It is time for Beta to land some heavy telling blows. Yeah, Beta now is in a position where he's got a steep. They're all both inside punchers. He's got to take a half step back and start doing some leg kicks to really offset Gregorian and not realize what's about to happen. Then step in and start banging him out as quickly as possible. Andy Sauer with Andre Menard backstage. You can see the damage there under Sauer's right eye. Much talking going on back there. As we are ready to roll into the third. U.S. boxing fans may remember Daniela Summer in 1999. She ventured to Las Vegas at the Hilton. Come on. Fought for the WBF International Women's Boxing.